Hey guys, Josh here and welcome back to Sunhaven. So I think it's been about two weeks since my last Sunhaven video. There's been no new patch, no new update since then. I'm not sure when the next update's gonna come, but let's just jump right into it. So I'm currently on day 24th and I'm not too sure actually what happens at the end of the month. I think it just continues infinitely. I'm not too sure because there's only one season so far in the game. So I think in today's video, we're probably gonna get to the end of the month. And if you guys missed the last few Sunhaven videos, I've actually upgraded my house. So I have now this extra bedroom. And yeah, I'm really enjoying the, all the customization options so far. But yeah, let's just get started. So I think my plan for today is gonna be to try to clear up as much of the quest as I can. So I need to get 500 tickets for the journey to Withergate to buy my apartment. And I need to solve the puzzle of Nelvari. And for that quest specifically, I'm not too sure what to do. And I tried to look it up online and some people say you cannot finish that quest because it's not implemented into the game yet. But other people seem to say you can finish it. So I'm not too sure about that. So I'm going to try to finish it. But anyway, I should be able to get my tickets. That's for sure. So, oh no, I think my little chickens are starving and I might not have any pet food. Uh, animal food left so I'm gonna have to buy more food and they're yeah they're gonna die that's <laughs> not really good so I'm gonna go buy some food 100 each it's kind of expensive I'm definitely gonna have to start growing a little bit more wheat you know what maybe I can do that I'm gonna buy a few wheat seeds so I can make my own food all right so I just planted my wheat here and now I'm gonna feed my little chickens and after that I'm gonna go to wither gate and check out on my crops that I have over there so I've got all of these on my rooftop farm and I think they might be ready tomorrow. I'm not too sure. Also, I need to get two hearts with two Withergate citizens. So I feel like that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. But you know what? Last time I bought this bone gift from the city hall. And a lot of people told me in the comments that these are really good gifts for the people living in Withergate. So I'm going to try and let's see how that goes. So I'm not too sure who I should befriend first. Maybe we could try Donovan. He's almost half a heart and Xila has a little bit more than half a heart. So I'm going to try to look for one of these two. So we've got Donovan right here. Oh, it's my new favorite person, Josh. See, it looks like my relationship is going pretty well. You seem to know this town well. What do you do for fun around here? I hang around the carnival a lot. I wait for people to lose the game so I can step up and win right afterwards. <laughs> Honestly, how hard is it to knock some bottles down? Yeah, that sounds kind of mean. I promise I'm only mean when it's funny. So, do you live here? Sure, why wouldn't I? It's the city of darkness. What am I going to do? Just pass up the chance to live in darkness forever? I don't think so. Maybe I should try living in the darkness for a while. Really? You? I would love to see that. You could show the human town that not everything is scary in the dark. Alright, you know what? Let me give you this little bone gift and let's see how much our relationship is gonna improve. No way! This is exactly what I was looking for. You're the best, Josh. You bet. So, let's see her relation- Oh, wow! That was a lot. He was like, not even half a heart and now he's already like one half and a heart. One heart and a half. Wow, it goes way faster than I thought when you give the right gifts, of course. So now, let's see Xila, Xyla. Xyla, I'm never not too sure how to pronounce her name, but let's try to find her. I'm not too sure where she usually hangs out, but we're gonna find out. They added a map in the last update, but there's no map for Withergate, just for Sunhaven, so I keep getting lost. And it's kind of hard sometimes when you're trying to find someone specific. Cordelia, have I met her before? You? I suppose we were never properly introduced. Oh, yeah, right, I'm Josh. My name is Cordelia. I sit on the Royal Council with Zyla and Darius. I would say it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. I think she might be here. I think. Let's see. Oh, there, there she is. Hey again, outsider. You look boring as ever. Well, thank you. Uh, <laughs> what do you do that's so great? You're kidding, right? I'm the architect. I built this place. Not only that, but I'm on the Demon King's Royal Council. Learn who you're talking to before throwing out a challenge, outsider. That's impressive. Ah, oh, you're so cute when you defer to your superiors. So, okay, you know what? Let me give you... Um, what would she like? Maybe Ruby? Who doesn't like some nice jewels? I guess this isn't the worst gift I've ever gotten. Oh, maybe she doesn't like it that much. 
Let's... Oh, you know what? She still got like maybe more than half a heart. Wow. Relationships go a lot faster than I thought. Also, I just remember that in my last video, I've actually harvested a few crops here. So they're already in the shipping bin. So I think that tomorrow I might already get the 500 tickets. Alright, so it's now the next day. Oh, no, not 500. I'm at 134. And my other crops are not ready quite yet. I think when everything is ready, I'm probably going to get to 500. So let's say hi to Donovan. And I'm actually going to go back and buy some bones. So maybe I can buy one for Zala and one for Donovan. And then I can come back. I just have 500 coins. I don't know if that's actually enough to buy bones. And uh, so let's see how much. Oh, so they're 1000. They're quite pricey, right? So I'm not going to be able to do that today. So you know what? I think I might just go and give them some apples. All right. So let's see if Donovan likes the apples like this. Thanks. Okay. Maybe it's not too good. And uh, oh, he's almost at two hearts. So tomorrow is going to be fine. And then let's go see Isaila. Oh, I can't enter the castle yet. I need to be a citizen. So I'm not too sure if she's inside. I might have to wait for her to come out. I don't remember at what time she came out last day, but I've been waiting here for a while. It's now 530 almost and she's still inside and I also went all around town trying to find her and I couldn't find her. So yeah, I don't know her schedule at all. So I'm gonna wait maybe until six and if she's not there, I'm gonna do something else because I've pretty much spent my whole day just waiting for her. Oh, there she is. So if you guys are looking for Zala, she comes out at 610. She comes out of the castle. So let's see if she likes apples. I guess this isn't the worst gift I've ever gotten. So I think, yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow, both of them should be good. And what else should we do for the rest of the day? So we're going to get more tickets once my crops are done. Craft a wooden table and bring it to Kitty. I guess that's going to be pretty easy to do so I can do that. And also get 25 logs for one heart. So I think that should be pretty easy as well. All right. So it's now the next day and it's raining, which means I won't have to water my crops. And I'm going to make one wooden table for my quest. And in the meantime, I'm going to try to go find some spider webs uh, so I can get silk and I can get my fabric for Bernard. And I think my wheat is ready. Oh, no, not quite yet. And also, I think I'm going to save my money to maybe buy my first cow. I think it costs 3000 if I'm not wrong. So I'm going to do that a little bit later today. But for now, I'm just going to do some foraging and try to get some silk isn't it very unsettling how you can find these berries like raspberries and full-grown <laughs> trees like this same for the strawberries instead of like you know in real life they would just grow in little bushes it's just kind of odd it just makes me laugh how you can find all of these berries and trees oh yeah so i completely forgot about uh this snack coon here let's see what he needs 10 apples and 10 bananas. You know what? Maybe we could try. Maybe we could try to find this. And I'm not too sure what's going to be in that area. And so basically what I'm trying to do now is to farm bananas. But I'm. <laughs> I need to be a little bit more careful because I'm going to die. Oh, and I'm running short on mana. And my sword is really, really not that strong. Like my fire spell is pretty good. But my sword, I'm going to have to upgrade it. Actually, most of my tools, I think maybe not today, but probably in the next video, I can maybe focus on like going mining and try to upgrade my tools and things like that. So I think I just need one more banana and then we're going to be good. All right. So I've got all the bananas I need. Now let's try to find some wild apples. So three more apples here and some blueberries in that tree. All right, so now we've got all the fruits we need for the snackoon and we're gonna unlock a brand new area. I don't know if the 10 apples need to be the same quality apples. I don't know if they're gonna stack. 
Ah, yeah, they don't stack because some of them are epic quality and the other ones are rare. Yeah, that's too bad. So, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna go find a few more apples. I think I should probably be able to get some apples near the barracks. Yeah, so I'm just hoping they're gonna be the same quality as the other ones. So I've now got 9 plus 4, so it's not quite what I need. But you know what? There's gonna be more apples tomorrow, so I'm gonna come back tomorrow. Oh, there's some more apples here. Alright, so we've got 11 of them, so we're gonna be able to do... Uh, to unlock the new area. Alright, so I made quite a bit of money, so maybe I can go buy a cow and try to find kitty and try to find one heart. Also, I'm gonna check on my crops in Withergate. By the way, I think Donovan is... yeah, he's at two hearts right now. Some of these crops are ready, some are not. I'm not too sure because I planted them all on the same day. Uh, but anyway, let's harvest whatever is ready. So 29 tickets and 13, so not 500 quite yet, but we're just one step closer. So you know what, I think... oh, and Zyla is right here. Yeah, let me give her Sapphire. Alright, and now she's at two hearts, so in this quest, which was to get two hearts with two citizens and 500 tickets, we've got the hearts, so that's one part done. Alright, so now let's check this seed, so there is eggplant, which are literally eggs, and moon plants, which are kind of little moon shapes, so you know, I, I think I'm gonna go with eggplant, and maybe I can buy five. Let's buy uh, just two moon plants. Alright, so that's done. That's gonna grow in the next few days. Alright, so now I'm gonna check on Kitty and try to give her the table. So she's right here. And I'm gonna take the maybe the farming experience. Oh, and she has another quest for me. Hey Josh, this is perfect timing. I just realized I forgot to water my garden before coming in today. I'll give you a potion if you help me out. Of course, where is your garden? It's just on this side of my house, you know, stuck in the dirt like plants are. What do you need me to do? Just make sure all my leafy babies have enough water. I'd be crushed if they withered in the sunshine, of course. Alright, so that's an interesting quest. So let's try it. Oh, I think... Is she talking about these flowers? I'm not too sure. Oh, yeah, I think... I think that's what it is. Okay, that was an interesting but very, very easy quest. Let's see what we get for it. 300 coins, that's pretty good. And let's take some combat experience. And I think now we might have enough money for a cow. So, you know what, let's buy a cow. Maybe it's 5,000? Oh no, 3,000. Alright, so now we've got our low cow. So let's bring it back home. So I think for now I'm gonna place it at the same spot as my chickens. And let's give it some food. Oh, she already gave me milk on the very first day. I Two milks, actually, so that's pretty good. So let me see how much money I can make with the milk. So 150 plus 137. So if I get like almost 300 coins per day in 10 days, I'm gonna be able to pay my cow back. Okay, so one heart is the doctor, right? I just remembered. Uh, oh, actually, he's right here. He's not always at the clinic. So... Yes, here's your logs, thank you. Oh, and we get an apple. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. I don't know if that, that's why he's giving me an apple. He doesn't want to see me too often. But let's go see the snackoon. And let's see if it was worth it. Keep in mind, there might be some spoilers in the next area. I have no idea what's going to be on the other side. So we're going to find that out. Stay tuned for that. And... Ta-da! Okay, let's check what's there. Oh, so we've got a beautiful little river. We've got some extra apples here. So I think maybe this could be a nice area for fishing. You know what? Where's my fishing rod? Maybe we can try to do some fishing. Actually, I don't see any fish. Lots of little platforming areas. And can I... Oh, wow, that was, <laughs> that was very close. Oh yeah, there's a fish there. You know what? Maybe we can try. Let me try to get that fish. It might be a rare. You know, it might be a rare. F oh, I, I don't think you can fish here actually. Maybe you need to be on the on the grass. 
Oh, yeah, you need to be on the grass to fish. And I don't see the fish now because it's behind the little rock, but oh, it's biting, it's biting. Oh, no, I failed. You know when you stop playing a game for like two weeks and you don't remember, like, I don't remember how to fish. Oh, I got it, I got it. Yeah, oh, it's an eel, so I think, yeah, I think it's my first time getting this, so maybe you can only get it in these rivers. I'm not too sure, and... The grass is yellow. No, the grass is purple here. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's unlock this. Get some coins. Wow, that's over a thousand. Wow, that's so mystical, so magical. Wow. Okay, let's. Maybe we can make a wish or something. Let's see. Oh yes, make a wish. Oh, fifteen plus mana. Oh, did that? My total mana increased or? So I don't know if you can make one wish every day or... I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to look at the footage. Well, when I edit the video, I'm gonna see it, but I don't know if it increased my maximum mana or if it just like replenished my mana a little bit. What happens if maybe I go out and I come back? Yeah, so I think yeah, maybe just make one wish a day or maybe just once, once in a lifetime, I'm not too sure. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow to see if I can make another wish. Oh, there's a letter actually. I think it's the... I think you get one letter when you start the game and one letter on the 28th. Hey yo Josh, nice to get to stretch the old brain muscles and write a letter. Do you know how rare it is for me to do this? Mainly since manhole 3 doesn't count as a valid return address. Lucky for me though, I could just borrow Darius' address. I'm sure they won't notice. Anyway, I was just coming up to get some grub and this guy just hands me a bone. Can you believe it? These suckers are like a candy for an Amari like me. As much as I wanted to chew through it right away, I thought you might like it more. So give it a try. Oh, thank you so much. So he gave me a bone gift. You know what? I'm probably just gonna give it back to him. Oh, another letter from Zala. You've been such a pest. All of Withergate is talking about you sneaking into my city. Listen to me closely. I will pay you just to stay out. So take the bribe and stick to your cushy farm in Sunhaven. Wow, so that's something I didn't know. So I think when you get to two hearts with villagers, they're actually going to send you gifts. I don't know if that's the same for all villagers, but I think that's a pretty good... No, I don't think Kitty sent me anything. Maybe it's just for the ones that live in Wintergate, but I think it's a pretty nice incentive for making friendships, and I just got 100 uh, tickets, so... Uh, <laughs> let all does she know that's gonna help me to get my apartment in Withergate and stay there even longer and even more so she can't get rid of me all right so I'm gonna spend my money on some seeds oh look at these windows so if you want to get more light I don't know if like at night if it still does the same effect or if it changes depending on the time of the day that's pretty interesting so you can buy some windows uh, but for now, I think I might just buy... Should I buy corn or carrots? Mm, let's see our options here. I think these ones are cheaper, right? So, you know what? I think I'm just going to go with corn. Let's just buy tons of corn. And I think my game is stuck. Um, I bought corn and it doesn't let me <laughs> close the window. And I do this and it doesn't work. There's nothing I can do, so I'm gonna have to quit the game. And I'm gonna have to come back. Okay, so I got 133 coins. Okay, I've got my corn. Okay, so that was not too bad of a bug. I'm glad this game has autosave. Can you imagine if I had to start from when I started this video? I also really like how there's like this little animation, like the plant starts growing as soon as you water it. Uh, I don't know, it's just so <laughs> satisfying to see. All right, so I'm gonna go and try to make a wish and see if you can do this every day. So let's see. And no, so I think you can only make that wish once. So yeah, once you've done it, there's not any point in coming back here ever, I think. So now I think I'm gonna go to Nelvari and I'm gonna try to solve the puzzle and see if that's even possible. And <laughs> actually, I tried to go back to Nelvari, but I went the wrong way, so I just spent the whole day just walking in the wrong forest. So anyway, I'm just gonna sleep. And I've got a few crops ready here. So I'm gonna get over 100 tickets, so I'm not gonna be at 500 quite yet. 
All right, so now I'm gonna go to Nelvari, and this time I'm gonna go in the western forest, not the eastern one. Oh, and there's actually plenty of uh, spider webs here, so I'm gonna be able to get some silk. Actually, I don't know why I completely forgot about this forest, so I never come here, but it's actually pretty good for cobwebs. And what about this Nakun? What does he want? So, oh wow, he wants a lot of stuff, and I did have a lot of these, but I sold everything, unfortunately. Alright, so I think I'm here, and I think I just need to talk to that guy. Plant a seed inside your bed. What? Oh, yeah, I remember that. I think it's head. I, <laughs> I think we've seen that during a previous video or during a live stream, but there's kind of rhyming thing that we've read in a book um oh my gosh i don't remember it uh, <laughs> uh oh congratulations oh i think i got the right one so i think you had to read a book um in <laughs> nelvari anyway congratulations adventure you've reached the end of this quest line as it currently exists in the game future patches will expand this quest line so keep an eye on our patch updates and enjoy sunhaven in the meantime thank you so much yeah so we're now in nelvari and it's such a shame that it's taking such a long time to come to this place every time like you really have to walk a long time in the forest because it's such a beautiful town and there's a lots of very beautiful objects and things you can buy in here see there's so many cute like you can buy some silk moth uh, how many mana do i have mana orbs at 57 i don't know if there's anything interesting i could buy you can buy this guy i think it comes with the flute Le yeah lion mount whistle 300 that's a lot oh what about this little pet stump i think that would be pretty cute 40 i can buy it but on the other hand i don't know what they're doing you know what let's buy it baby stump that's so cute lovable little body for your farm so let's bring this guy on my farm and let's see if he's any helpful so a little tip actually if you want to go from nelvari back to sunhaven very quickly what i just did i just quit the game and load it again and I appear on my farm and you know what maybe this stump can go here this area is kind of empty and oh he gives me oh wow 10 logs that's actually quite a lot wow that's nice so you don't have to chop wood every day if you get these little guys that's pretty useful actually so you know what let's make some planks oh yeah I need to make uh, some fabric yeah so let's make some fabric all right so i'm gonna have to bring that to bernard and i think i might be able to uh get rid of that snackoon now with all of the stuff i got yesterday so we've got berries here and then 10 blueberries oh no i'm lacking a few blueberries because i have like three different types mushrooms are good apples are not good yeah i think that's not gonna be for today oh you know what actually i might have some in my chest in my house all right let's see so we've got mushrooms berries and blueberries and apples that's a very hungry snackoon hopefully it's gonna be worth it and uh, oh wow so you get access oh wow i should have done that earlier you get access to this foraging area and there's so many fruit trees and mushrooms yeah definitely recommend coming here once every few days just to let time i think it takes three days for all of the fruits to grow back so i think if i come here every three days that's gonna be pretty good so now i need to go see bernard for the fabrics and he's not in here and i don't remember what he looks like so i'm not even sure whether or not i've met him before oh i remember who's bernard now actually i had to <laughs> look it up but uh he's the guy in the town hall this one right here and uh, let's get the com oh combat xp and wooden torch i like when you get something else than gold i enjoy it so you know what i think i can probably 
put my wooden torches somewhere on my farm. I already have two here. Maybe just here, just to light the way a little bit. And one more here. And then maybe two here. And maybe the other one could be somewhere here. Yeah, so at least I'm gonna have a little bit of light. Oh, and we've got a few plants ready here. Oh, no, actually, just my eggplants. And uh, let's see how valuable they are. 31. So, yeah, it's gonna take a few more days until we get all of our tickets. All right, so it's now the next day. It's the 31st. So, yeah, I think the days just go on kind of infinitely. Uh, since there's no seasons yet. Also, I'm really gonna have to plant more wheat because now I'm realizing that I'm starting to have a lot of animals to feed every day and it's kind of expensive in terms of food. And I also have my stump. Yeah, I'm gonna go buy some wheat seeds. All right, so I just finished planting my wheat. And you know what? I wanted to make this garden look pretty with these little wooden planks, but I think it doesn't look really good. I prefer like this just to have the basic, basic little farm plot. So I'm just gonna remove this and till the whole thing. Yeah, I think it's gonna look a lot better like this. You know what? Sometimes less is more. Right, I think it looks a lot better. All right, so that's how my little garden looks like so far. It's doing pretty good. And I think I'm gonna see you guys when I get my 500 Withergate tickets. All right, so it took some time, but we're now on day 35 and I have my 528 tickets. So I'm gonna go downstairs to Flemeth. All right, and let's see what he has to say. Hey, how long have you been standing there? Oh, you again, you're paying off your apartment, eh? Well, it's about time. What, you expecting a trophy or something? Your reward is me not kicking you out on the streets. Congratulations, now beat it. And, oh, there is actually another quest after that. So I think that's gonna be it for today. Maybe in the next video, we can try to finish that other quest. And also I would like to upgrade my tools a little bit, but yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you want to see more Sunhaven content like this, please make sure to click like and subscribe so you don't miss out. And I'm going to see you all in the next video.